Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you are a believer like me and you want to deepen your relationship with God, along with deepening your understanding of the word of God, stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm excited to bring you this video because I finally found a great study resource that will help to heighten my understanding of what I'm reading when I'm reading the word of God. Um, this particular tool I found um, on social media, there are a lot of great advertisements being presented now and being promoted. And this was one of them. We find a lot of them that relate to merchandise and, you know, clothing, hair products, beauty products. But then we also find some good ones that will help us build our spirituality as well. And this was one of those resources. So here I have the Bible study tool. And as you can see, it comes in two different booklets. And this was written by Zach Wendall. And um, this particular resource, if I were to describe it in three words, I would say that it's refreshing, it's relevant, and it is very reflective. And by refreshing, I mean, I don't feel overwhelmed like I used to when reading the Word of God. It is reflective in that it has a lot of questions that are uh, found throughout the course of this guide that help to clarify and cause me to ponder and really think deeply about what I read. And not only does it cause me to think deeply about what was read, but it causes me to really remember a lot of those key points that were put out in the scripture. So it, it, I found myself constantly reflecting on what I read and trying to gain a deeper understanding in order to answer those questions. So it all kind of works together. Um, it is very relevant. Um, the questions that are being asked, as well as the key points or the key notes that are added throughout this guide, connects scripture to what we go through on a daily basis and questions that we might have even now about our identity and about our purpose. It speaks deeply, I feel like, when I was reading, it spoke very deeply to my heart. I also felt like while reading scripture along with this tool that the anointing of God was there, I've definitely felt like God's presence was sitting right in the room as I read. I've had this study Bible for only about two days and I wanted to make sure that I came on while I, you know, it was fresh on my mind to, um, and while I was very ex excited about it, it's, I'm, I know that I'm still going to be excited about it, but I wanted to come on as soon as possible to share this resource with you because I really feel like it's going to help you so much in your journey to um, gain a better understanding of God and his word. I know we're seeing a lot of calamity and a lot of conflict right now, but I feel like God is still trying to show us something in this moment. As we strengthen our relationship with God, it's very important for us also to get to know his word in the process. There's no way that we can get to know, say, our spouses or a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or even if our employer is trying to get to know who we are. They always do a background check. And I feel like this is our way of really getting to know God um, by getting to know what has been documented about him and about his ways and about his will. So I want to definitely thank Zach Wendall for this resource. It is a wonderful resource. It has really just been speaking to my heart. And I know that this was something that God called you to write. And you're making an impact whether you feel like you are or not. And this tool is going to be able to just change lives all over the world. I really believe that. So I just want to say thank you. And I also want to let you all know that this is not a sponsor video. I'm not getting paid for doing this video or doing this review on this tool. I just honestly wanted to come up here and share because it's such a wonderful resource. I'm so excited about it. And it's motivating me so much to pick up the book and read it on a daily basis. I feel like it's very organized. A lot of what was placed in the book was very intentional. Um, going back to the keynotes that I was talking about, um, when reading the book, when reading the Bible alongside this book, um, the key notes that are added in this Bible, I feel like they really draw my attention to some key things that God said that I may not have even honed in on when I was reading the Bible. Um, now, I do want to say that this is not a commentary, unfortunately. It's not a commentary, but this can be used in conjunction with your study Bible to just make the whole process so much easier. I am a person who is very structured and I'm very systematic. So I'm always looking for ways to work smarter 
and not harder. I need what I'm doing to have some type of plan and structure. And this tool is very structured and it helps me to get through that process of reading the Bible. Now I've looked for a lot of resources online and um, like the Uversion app and I see a lot of digital free resources that can be used um, along with my Bible to read as well. However, I kind of want to steer away from the digital resources for right now because I found that I'm the type of person when dealing with technology, and I'm sure many of you are as well, I will get distracted easy. And I found myself really having those uh, periods of time throughout the course of my life to where I'm really, I'm really reading the Bible, I'm being consistent with it, and then I'll get kind of deterred by obligations and things that I have going on, and it'll be hard for me to get back to it. But I found that since getting this resource, I'm so excited about the next day to learn more. A person that would read the Bible based on um, certain themes, or I would kind of jump around and read this book of the Bible, then I'm reading this book, and not really get clarity about the whole storyline and the whole plot. Um, I feel like it's a better, um, technique for you to start at the very beginning of the Bible and then work your way through the stories until you get to the end um, because it you have to understand the context of what you're reading. For based on the plan that's given, you're going to be reading about uh, two chapters. Right now, I'm just reading two, maybe three chapters a day. And as I proceed, the amount of chapters, depending on how long they are, will grow. Um, so I may end up reading about five to six chapters a day. And it's with the goal that you'll be reading a whole book by the end of the week. And I'm just believing God that by the end of this year, I would have completed the whole Bible. And I'm going to believe God with you as well. Um, so I've done a lot of talking about how I feel about this tool. Now I'm actually going to show you what the tool looks like. Okay, so let's get into it. So as we look at the layout of each of our study guides, here you have basically an overview of each week. It outlines the book of the Bible that you'll be reading. Here is an overview of the Old Testament in general. It explains the sections and the books of the Bible that are found in each section. Like you have the Torah, the historical, the prophetic, and the books of wisdom. There are 39 books of the Old Testament and there are 25 authors. It also gives you the date and time for creation, which is 400 um, BC. Now, as you start reading your book of the Bible, you're going to see a layout that looks like this. And on each of the layout pages, it will tell you the author, the date, the audience, the reason. It gives you the theme, the key verses. It also gives you the sections that you'll be reading in that week as you read that book of the Bible. The section portion is very important because it will tell you for each day what to read. That's where you're going to find your daily reading plan. And then it also gives you key words to consider while you're reading. Here, you're going to have an overview of the book. And then as you flip the pages, it seems like for each book or just the book of Genesis, because that's the book I'm in, there are about 12 pages. And on each page, you're going to have, depending on what you're reading, um, sections to where you can add key notes and reminders for yourself. There are questions that really draw your attention to the key events that happen in that story or in that book of the Bible. And then you're going to notice that there are key notes that I really love, key notes that pull on those major events that happen in the Bible that kind of highlight what God was saying in that moment. Okay, so as we flip through, you're going to see very colorful pages to draw your attention to what God was saying in that moment and just a little reminders for you to keep you going. More questions. And they're going to be a set of questions for each of the major events from what I'm finding in that book of the Bible. Colorful pages. And then for each book of the Bible, you're going to have final thoughts, which relate that book to your everyday life. So the structure is very similar for each book. You might find timelines, maps, depending on what you're reading. You might have graphics from that book. <clears throat> 
very colorful, very structured, very organized. Okay. Very systematic. Okay. All right. So it makes the Bible and your studies very relevant to your everyday life. And if you look at the New Testament, structure's the same. Depending on that book, if there were maps that you needed to see. And they even added present day graphics to this study guide. So it, it makes it a little bit more real for you. Colorful pages, questions. And let me say this, similar structure. Okay, nothing really new here. Same structure. Um, but let me say this, I don't want you all to get it misconstrued. This is just a little disclaimer. This is not a commentary. This is a guide. It outlines the process for you to actually read the Bible. Okay. Um, I love how he added the key notes because it would draw my attention to things and phrases that I may not have even noticed as I read scripture. For instance, when I was reading in Genesis um, about how when God was going through the creation process and he was saying that everything was good. I just kept thinking that it was just saying all of it was just good. But after he created man, he said it was very good. And just that phrase alone, it highlighted to me how important and how significant I am to God. Um, so it's just little things like that. So as you're reading, kind of try to notice those things. I felt like the totality of this particular guide was very impactful for me. And I definitely hope that it will be impactful to you as well. Now, some things that I would have liked to be changed some things that could be considered as cons that I would have liked to have seen with this particular guy were more questions, okay? So what I noticed was I was thinking that there would be a question or some questions per chapter, but no, there are not questions for every single chapter that you're going to be reading, but there are questions that give an overview for that book, okay? And But I did like that Zach added um, sections or spaces where you can add notes. So in Genesis, when I was reading, I noticed that the question stopped at chapter three and then they picked back up at like chapter six. So what I did was in the free space that I had down here, in the free space that I had up here, I wrote down notes from chapter four and chapter five. And I kind of understood to some degree why he didn't write questions for chapter five. I guess because it was basically explaining the genealogy from Seth and the descendants from Abraham and Sarah. So he didn't really add questions for that because as I stated before, the questions are based on like the key, the major events that happened for that particular book. And there are going to be some ones that are from smaller events along the way, but he gave basically an overview of the book okay so i would have liked for there to be a question for each chapter that i read to pull on uh, my memory and to draw my attention to that particular event so that i can remember it would have been nice if there were some lines that could have been added to the pages or like extra pages where you could write notes because i want my resource to be a little bit more all-inclusive I don't want to feel like I have to go to my notebook and write notes here, write notes there. I want to have the space to have everything that I need as it relates to that book and that chapter, those scriptures written here so that I always have those reminders that I can pull upon. Okay. What I also like about the book that I forgot to share is that this book can also be, although it is set for a year and he's giving you a designated schedule, you can work at your own pace. I love that this is a self-paced guide. So if I decide for week three that I want to read, say, Revelations, I could do that if I wanted to. However, it makes more sense for you to read the Bible from beginning to end so that you understand the full story. Because something may have happened, say, in um, Luke that was very important to Revelations, but you missed it because you skipped that book. I think that it's wonderful for you to read the Bible in sequential order so that you understand the progression of what's happening in each event. And even if you think about a fictional story, 
you might have missed the whole problem and got into the solution because you started at the end of the book or you started midway you got the climax but you didn't really understand where the problem was formulated or what actually happened all right so this helps to provide that structure that's needed to really get me to understand what happened a long time ago with our savior that definitely connects and relates to what's happening with us today Okay. God wants us to be one with him. He wants to bring forth revelation. He wants us to um, dream again. He wants us to know our identity in him. And all of that is found through spending time in his presence and reading his word. Before I get off, let me show you what you're going to actually get in your package. So I received these two books, but I also received two bookmarks. And I use the bookmarks to pinpoint where I am in my study guide. So I'll put one bookmark here. That might not be where I am. I'm just doing this for the, uh, for the video. But I'll use one bookmark for my study guide. Okay. And then I'll use the other bookmark for my Bible. So this is well thought out, even in him just giving you two bookmarks. And then it reminds you that the Bible is good and that the best day of the week is Sunday. OK, so I have two bookmarks, one for my Bible and one for my study guide. It also came with what looks like to me ribbons. And you could, I guess you could use these to replace or to substitute the actual um, bookmarks that he gave. And they're colorful so you can easily find the page that you were on along with some little graphic cards that again remind you that the Bible is good for you and the Bible is definitely good for you <laughs> and then there's another one that says the best day of the week is of course Sunday because this is the brand Sunday um, that they're introducing so overall great tool but it has to be paired with a great Bible he said you could use any Bible, but I would suggest you get a really good solid study Bible. And the Bible that I have, I kind of stole my husband's because mine was left at church. And I was asking uh, the pastors of the church um, if they could find it, if we could get in contact with them to get it. I didn't get a chance to get my Bible back. So I stole my husband's and it was Jesus that that happened because his Bible is so much better than mine. I am using the Holman study Bible and it's the KJV um, version. I will try to find a link um, with a similar Bible like this. But with this Bible, it's not just the text, but it also adds a commentary. And it really breaks down what the scriptures are saying. Okay, so it basically breaks up the scripture based on things. And then it also clarifies what the scriptures mean for you. Okay. So again, this study tool is not a commentary, but it is great to use in conjunction with a good solid study Bible. Okay, so these two together, you cannot be stopped. <laughs> okay, so I want you to like this video if you've enjoyed um, what I've expressed to you and what I've shown you with this Bible tool. If it's motivating you to want to get into your word more, it's definitely motivated me to get in my word. Let me below if you found a better resource than the Bible study tool. If you've tried the Bible study tool, what are your thoughts? Is it something that you're considering purchasing? And again, this is not sponsored. I don't get anything from this video. I just want to give you a good resource that is going to help grow your relationship with God okay I want you to also share this video with a friend with a family member because anyone can use this resource to help them in their relationship and their walk with God um, I would definitely recommend it to all of you it is a wonderful resource so I love you guys I will be trying to bring you more um, videos like this more inspirational videos more videos that will help to encourage you and connect you more with the father of course um, thank you so much Zach Wendell again for this great resource um, a lot of great things I feel like are going to come out of my studies and they always do when you spend time with God. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time. Bye bye. So take a chance on faith. Yes, you're my into please. Take a chance.